Okay, so I previously released a script on NixOS that uh, updates your configuration file and allows you to add and remove software using the configuration file and globally throughout the system. But uh, I've got another script as well that I want to show you today and it's how to easily change your desktop environment in NixOS. And you'll see under NixOS, under scripts, I have this Nix OS GUI changer script and basically what it does is, and I'll demonstrate it, is it allows you to which new desktop environment you want to use. Do you want to use KDE, GNOME, XFCE, Pantheon, Mate, Cinnamon? And what this file actually does, it goes and edits the etc Nix OS configuration.nix file and it will either add or remove uh, the environments as it goes. So stuff like Mate and Mate XFCE requires the packages XTG desktop portal edition um, and the applets edition to be added. So what it will do is it will add, automatically add those additional requirements once you select uh, the appropriate desktop environment. And if you remove and you change, let's say if you go from Marte to GNOME or to KDE, it will remove the files it doesn't need. So what it actually does is it adds and removes the files from the Nix OS configuration file uh, as it gets used, as well as changes the uh, display manager as well. So for example, if it's KDE, it will automatically use SDDM and uh, GNOME it will use a GDM as a display manager and for the others I've just configured them to use light uh, display manager So important to know while you're running the script If your interface bombs out for a second then just uh, What you can do is just do a NixOS dash rebuild switch and the system will carry on as normal and Sometimes the stuff goes dark because it's actually gone ahead and removed the files um, that it was using to display things, but let me show you So I'm going to open up the terminal And first things first we need to clone the repo so we need to do a nix dash shell dash p git Because NixOS doesn't have git pre-installed. So we're opening up a temporary shell environment that uh, Will have git which we've done. So now we're going to do git clone https gitlab.com slash gosh dash it's arch dash linux dash nixos.git we'll clone it I'm gonna go into the nixos folder I'm gonna go into the scripts folder and I'm gonna go chmod plus x Asterisk.sh and that will make those files executable. Again, you need to be sudo or admin to run the file. So if I was to just do nixos CLI app store, it will tell you please run as sudo or as uh, root. But I actually should do nixos uh, underscore GUI changer and it will tell you the script must be run as root or with sudo. So we'll do sudo nix os gui changer authenticate and it tells you thank you for using gosh it's arch nix os gui changer this script will modify your installed gui system use at your own risk please select desktop environment so you can see here i'm running kde right kde and i'm going to be simple right now and i'm going to go from kde to Marte desktop. So I'm going to choose option number five. I'm going to hit enter. Then it's going to ask me, do I want to rebuild the system now? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to let it rebuild. And you can see what it's doing now. It's copying down the relevant files that it needs. It'll start removing KDE in a moment. The video that I showed you on how to do it manually, I just disable 
them but here I actually go and remove those lines from the system um, just so that there's less uh, issues I found so if I do sudo system ctl reboot right it's doing a reboot now xos let it boot up and I'll log in and look here we've gone ahead and now we're using Mate same environment all done easy peasy so let's say we want to change it again and we want to go to a different environment um, interestingly it doesn't remove Removing KDE doesn't remove console, it removed everything else that was mostly everything else that was KDE related. It just leaves one or two small KDE applications, which is interesting. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go back into the MixOS folder, back into scripts, and I'm gonna go sudo because the files are already executable. We did it earlier. Nix OS GUI changer. And now let's say we want to go from Mate to uh, no. So I'm going to hit two, hit enter. Do I want to rebuild now? Yes. It actually works quite quickly as well. Okay, so you see the graphical interface here vanished. Or if you just reboot your system, it will come up. So I'm just going to say uh, reboot, right, and it's installed. No. And here we are. No desktop is being fully installed, as you can see here. Right, um, if you are worried that any file maybe wasn't copied or if it didn't finish in the background for whatever reason during during the conversion between the systems, if you are worried, you can just do sudo uh, mixos rebuild switch and uh, if you are worried it didn't finish in the background, you can just run that command as well. Um, and in case it didn't miss anything, which is unlikely, uh, you can just write that command. Okay, now we've I've shown you that. So let's go back to the MixOS folder, back to scripts, and to go again, MixOS GUI changer. And this time I'm going to go to Pantheon. I'm going to hit number four. Do I want to rebuild now? Yes. The reason I configured the script to remove the old interface instead of just hash it out is to cause less issues in the long run and otherwise sometimes there can be a bit of a conflict between the configs. Again remember when you run this in the system it is a global not per user. Okay so what you would do in your machine now you would go and reboot it. I'm just doing a force reset there, but on your machine you would just do a reboot. And here you go. And Pantheon is being fully installed, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So, yeah, folks, um, I think the only one. We've got two left now, if I uh, recall correctly. Uh, so let's go into MixOS, go into the scripts, uh, MixOS, GUI changer, and we want to go, let's say, to Cinnamon, we'll hit six, we want to do a both now. Yes. Okay. System CTL reboot. And 
you'll see we're now in the cinema desktop environment. All set up, all installed, and all working without an issue. And let's do the last one. I mix OS scripts and sudo mix OS GUI changer. And we want to go to XCE. I'm going to hit three. Yes, we build. You could always run the command, not rebuild, and then just uh, make sure you're logging to a virtual terminal, so not in the GUI, and do a rebuild from there as well. So when you boot, it will automatically show you that it's in the correct uh, GUI environment. And look over here, folks, we're now in XFCE. So everyone, I hope you find the script useful. Uh, please use at your own risk if anything goes wrong, but uh, it's basically just moving and adding lines to your configuration.mix file. I suggest uh, using it more in a plain installed installation of MixOS or one where you haven't changed the configuration file too much. And folks, as always, thank you for watching. Bye for now.